Hello everyone and welcome to quiz class. Today we have 100 questions on 1950s music. So let's get ready. Question number one, which artist sang Goodnight Irene, the number one billboard year end single of 1950? Gordon Jenkins and the Weavers, Sammy Kay and Don Cornell, or Nat King Cole with Les Baxter? Gordon Jenkins and the Weavers. What was the outdated term used to describe the roots of rock and roll music? Cultural music, South music, or race music? Race music. In which language did Petula Clark begin releasing music in the late 1950s? French, German, or Italian? French. For what 1957 musical film did songwriters Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller write four songs in four hours? Jailhouse Rock, West Side Story, or Funny Face? Jailhouse Rock. What was the most popular way for people to listen to music at home in the 1950s? Vinyl player, radio, or gramophone? Vinyl player. Which artist had a number one hit in 1951 with a song that was a 1950 number one hit for Freddie Martin and his orchestra? Danny Kay, Fred Heatherton, or Povel Rammel? Danny Kay. Which U.S. disc jockey was a leading force in popularizing rock and roll? Ed Sullivan, Alan Freed, or Milton Berle? Alan Freed. What was singer Ella Fitzgerald's nickname? Queen, Duchess, or Lady? Lady. How long was the average song in the 1950s? 2 minutes 15 seconds, 2 minutes 30 seconds, or 2 minutes 45 seconds? 2 minutes 30 seconds. Which album was the U.S. Billboard number one best-selling record of 1957 and 58? Elvis Presley Christmas Album, My Fair Lady Original Broadway Cast, or South Pacific original soundtrack. My Fair Lady original Broadway cast. Which artist sang Too Young, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1951? Tony Bennett and Percy Faith, Nat King Cole with Les Baxter or Les Paul and Mary Ford. Nat King Cole with Les Baxter. Who was the best-selling female artist of the 1950s in the U.S.? Joe Stafford, Patti Page, or Kay Starr? Patti Page. Who scored numerous Alfred Hitchcock films throughout the 1950s? Bernard Herrmann, John Barry, or Dmitri? Sustakovich. Bernard Herman. Which artist's biggest career hit was their 1954 cover of White Christmas? Dean Martin, Johnny Mathis, or Bing Crosby? Bing Crosby. 
What were the two most popular music genres of the 1950s? Rock and roll and jazz, rock and roll and soul, or rock and roll and folk? Rock and roll and soul. Whose appearance at the 1956 Newport Jazz Festival led to a career revival? Duke Ellington, Count Basie and his New Testament band, or Stan Kenton and his orchestra? Duke Ellington. What style of blues is the 1951 song Train Kept a Rollin'? Swing blues, gospel blues, or junk blues? Junk blues. What was Patsy Cline's sartorial contribution as a female performer? Poodle skirts and high heels, red lipstick and dungarees, or bouffant and cowboy boots. Red lipstick and dungarees. What technology revived radio in the 1950s? Car radios, transistor radios, or cocktail parties? Transistor radios. Question 20. What was Elvis Presley's response to being called the king? Declined and name, name other musicians instead? Use the moniker on stage or call himself the protege? Decline and name other musicians instead. Which artist sang Blue Tango, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1952? K-Star, Leroy Anderson, or Patti Page? Leroy Anderson. Which 1950s musical artist performs with his comets? Bill Haley, Mel Torme, or Johnny Grande. Bill Haley. Which city's sound emerged as country music subgenre in the 1950s? Texas, Nashville, or Baton Rouge? Nashville. What was the B-side of Little Richard's 1956 single Long Tall Sally? Tutti Frutti, Slippin' and Slidin', or She's Got It? Slippin' and Slidin'. Of the four fathers of rock and roll, who is not one? Johnny Burnett, Bo Diddley, or Fats Domino? Johnny Burnett. What type of place is the Blueberry Hill song about in Fats Domino's 1956 cover? A farm, a restaurant, or a street? A restaurant. How many other siblings were there in the Everly Brothers family? Zero, one, or two? Zero. Who won the 1959 Grammy Award for Best Vocal Performance, Male, for Catching a Falling Star? Catch a Falling Star. Andy Williams, Perry Como, or Frank Sinatra? Perry Como. 
which singing group featured on the Rosemary Clooney show starting in 1956? The down lows, the high lows, or the high times? The high lows. Which 1950s musician was known as the genius? Ray Charles, B.B. King, or James Brown? Ray Charles. Which artist sang the song for Moulin Rouge, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1953? Les Paul and Mary Ford, Teresa Brewer and Jack Weiss, or Percy of Faith featuring Felicia Sanders? Percy Faith featuring Felicia Sanders. Which instrument was Nat King Cole considered a maestro of? Piano, saxophone, or double bass? The piano. Whose quintet rose to prominence following its beginning in 1955? John Coltrane, Miles Davis, or Herbie Hancock? Miles Davis. Which singer-actress performed for U.S. troops in Korea in 1954? Judy Garland, Gloria Jean, or Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe. How many Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award winners received their Grammy in the 1950s? Zero, two, or four? Zero. Who originally co-wrote and performed 1957 rockabilly song Susie Q? Stan Lewis, Dan Hawkins, or Roger Miller? Dale Hawkins. How old was singer Paul Anka when his 1957 number one song Diana was released? 15, 17, or 19? Fifteen. Which instrument company released their Telecaster electric guitar in 1950? Gibson, Slingerland, or Fender? Fender. Who wrote the 1957 hit song, Hey School Girl, under the moniker Tom and Jerry? Paul Simon, Leonard Cohen, or Bob Dylan? Paul Simon. Which Broadway singer and actress made her debut in the 1956 musical, The Boyfriend? Liza Minnelli, Julie Andrews, or Gwen Verdon. Julie Andrews. Which artist sang Little Things Mean a Lot? The number one Billboard year and single of 1954, Perry Coma with Hugo Winterhalter, Rosemary Clooney with Buddy Cole, or Kitty Callen with Jack Weiss. Kitty Callen with Jack Weiss. Who is Pershing's own? The United States Army Band, the United States Navy Band, or the United States Air Force Band? The United States Army Band. 
After seeing the eponymous dance craze, who was inspired to write and record The Twist in 1958? Chubby Checker, Joey D and the Starlighters, or Hank Ballard and the Midnighters? Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Where did partners and musical duo Louis Prima and Keely Smith frequently perform? Las Vegas, Chicago, or Nashville? Las Vegas. Which city did Quincy Jones move to in 1957 to study composition and theory? London? Berlin or Paris? Paris. What type of folk songs did country star June Carter grow up singing? Bluegrass, Appalachian folk, or old time music? Appalachian folk. Which jazz musician was nicknamed the Yardbird? Charlie Parker, Pepper Adams, or Steve Lacey? Charlie Parker. What was the name, the other name for the Dick Clark show that began in 1958? The Beech Nut Show, The Chestnut Show, or The Night Acorn Show? Dick Clark's Saturday Night Beech Nut Show. Which British singer was the king of Skiffle? Ken Collier, Chris Barber, or Lonnie Donegan? Lonnie Donegan, we're halfway through question 50. In which year was the first Grammy Awards held? 1951, 1955, or 1959? 1959. Which artist sang Cherry Pick an Apple Blossom White, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1955. Mitch Miller, Les Baxter, and Perez Prado. Perez Prado. Who sang the 1954 song All of You in the film adaptation of Cole Porter's Broadway musical Silk Stockings? Cole Porter, Fred Astaire, or Gene Kelly? Fred Astaire. Which singer joined the Primettes or Primettes in 1959? Tina Turner, Diana Ross, or Dionne Warwick? Diana Ross. Along with being a leading 1950s Nashville sound producer, what instrument is Chet Atkins famous for playing? Guitar, keyboard, or drums? Guitar. What is Harry Belafonte's 1950s song Deo also known as? The Tutti Frutti song, the Banana Boat song, or the Copacabana song? The Banana Boat Song. Which music label was singer-songwriter Roy Orbison first signed to by Sam Phillips in 1956? Sun Records, Vault Records, or Satellite Records? Sun Records. What does the eponymous Molly like to do in Little Richard's 1958 song, Good Golly, Miss Molly? Skip, 
sing or dance. dance. In addition to his music, what is Les Paul known for releasing in 1952? Piano design with Roland, microphone design with Schur, or guitar design with Gibson? Guitar design with Gibson. What song did Peggy Lee record and release in 1958 that became her signature rendition? Is that all there is? Fever or black coffee? Fever. Question 60. What film was the 1952 song That's Amore written for? The Caddy, Roman Holiday, or the moon is blue. The caddy. Which artist held equal first position for the 1956 Billboard year-end single? Dean Martin, Elvis Presley, or Fats Domino? Elvis Presley. How many sold out Carnegie Hall shows did Billie Holiday play in November 1956? Two, three, or four? Two. Which type of music is the recorded jam that became the Champs 1958 song Tequila? Mexican Ranchera, Colombian Cambia, or Cuban Mambo? The Cuban Mambo. What instrument was the 1950s jazz musician Sonny Rollins playing when he was hailed the greatest living improviser? A trumpet, a saxophone, or a double bass? The saxophone. What happened to country music star Loretta Lynn in 1953? Achieved her first number one single, co-wrote her first album with her husband, or began self-teaching herself guitar? began self-teaching herself guitar. What did the Weavers sing about possibly having in their 1950 song? A house, a hammer, or a horse? A hammer. Which singer had their own music and variety television show from 1957? to 1959, Perry Como, Pat Boone, or Eddie Fisher? Eddie Fisher. Whose songs are covered on Sarah Vaughan and Billy Eckstein's 1957 studio album? Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, or Harry Warren? Irving Berlin. On what day of 1951 did Hambone Kelly's Jazz Club close? Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, or April 30th, Jazz Day? New Year's Eve. Question 70. Which musician joined the United States Air Force in 1950? Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, or Hank Williams? Johnny Cash. Which film soundtrack was the number one Billboard year-end pop album of 1957? My Fair Lady, Jailhouse Rock, or Rock Around the Clock.
my fair lady. By what name is the 1954 song, in other words, performed by Frank Sinatra better known? Angel Eyes, Fly Me to the Moon, or Blue Hawaii? Fly Me to the Moon. What style of music was the 1956 Christmas song, Mary's Boy Child, written in? Palm Wine Music? Soak up music or calypso music. Calypso music. Who arranged Waylon Jennings' first recording session in 1958? Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, or Harry Richardson Jr.? Buddy Holly. Which country artists made their first studio record, No Place for Me, in 1956? Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, or Merle Haggard? Willie Nelson. who released their debut 1956 record, Songs of Faith, at age 14, Patti LaBelle, Gladys Knight, or Aretha Franklin? Aretha Franklin. Which singer-actor starred in the 1952 musical film Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly? Donald O'Connor and Debbie Reynolds, Fred Astaire and Ethel Merman, or Dan Daly and Gloria Noble. Donald O'Connor and Debbie Reynolds. Which singer had her first televised appearance in 1956 on the Cass Walker Farm and Home Hour? Patsy Cline, Dolly Parton, or June Carter? Dolly Parton. What song reference is not made in the 1958 novelty rock song, Splish Splash? Alice's Restaurant, Peggy Sue, or Lollipop? Alice's Restaurant. What 1953 musical film was the number one song Secret Love Written For, Calamity Jane, Carousel, or Cruisin' Down the River? Calamity Jane. Which Domenico Madungo song was the number one Billboard year-end single of 1958? Nel Blue Dipinto di Blu, Lupice Spada or Buon Natale a Tutto il Mondo? Nel Blu, Dipinto di Blu. When starting in the early 1950s, who did Chuck Berry borrow his guitar showmanship from? T-Bone Walker, Willie Dixon, or Big Joe Turner? T-Bone Walker. Who was not a member of the rock and roll group The Crickets formed in 1957? Jerry Allison, Norman Petty, or Joe B. Malden? Norman Petty. What song did Connie Francis cover that became a hit in 1958? Who's Sorry Now? Who's Happy Now? Or who's angry now? Who's sorry now? Which 1958 musical film soundtrack became the first album to be certified gold by the RIAA? The King and I, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, or Oklahoma? Oklahoma. 
The 1956 doo-wop song, In the Still of the Night, was known as a what song? Three satin song, five satin song, or seven satin song? A five satin song. How many studio albums did Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong release together in the 1950s? Two, three, or four? Three. Which film studio formed its record label for the first time in 1958? Warner Brothers, Sony, or Universal Pictures? Warner Brothers. What was the original name of the Ronettes when they formed in 1957? The Darling Family, the Darling Sisters, or the Darling Damsels? The Darling Sisters. Question 90. What legal investigation happened in the 1950s against paying a commercial radio station for playing songs? Payola, corporate conspiracy, or play theft? Payola. Which artist sang the Battle of the New Orleans, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1959? Lloyd Price, Bobby Darin, or Johnny Horton. Johnny Horton. In what 1953 musical film was Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend performed? Some Like It Hot, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, or The Seven Year Itch? Gentlemen prefer blondes. Which arranger worked with Miles Davis on the 1957 record Miles Ahead and the 1958 record Porgy and Bess? Count Basie, Stan Kenton, or Gil Evans? Gil Evans. Which song spent seven weeks at number one on the 1958 R&B charts? Honeycomb, Tequila, or Yakety Yak? Yakety Yak. Who was the founder and frontman of the 1950s Motown group, The Miracles? Barry Gordy, Marv Tarplin or Smokey Robinson? Smokey Robinson. Which artist won the inaugural 1956 Eurovision Song Contest? Jetty Pearl, Michelle Arnaud, or Lys Asia? Lice Asia. Which act was never associated with Marvin Gaye in the 1950s? The Marquise, the Million Dollar Quartet, or New Moon Glows? Million Dollar Quartet. During its 1950 to 1955 run, which company wasn't a Comedy Hour music series sponsor? Colgate, Dove, or Palmolive? Dove. What is not a musical number from the 1950 film Annie Get Your Gun? Make them laugh. There's no business like show business or anything you can do. Make them laugh. Last question, question 100. 
Which 1957 television show used the theme music called Park Avenue Beat? Perry Mason, Gunsmoke, or Ironside? Perry Mason. And our bonus question. What are the hills alive with according to a beloved 1959 film? Let us know the answer in the comments as uh, along with your score. Thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We will see you next time. Bye bye. Hello everyone and welcome to quiz class. Today we have 100 questions on 1950.